You've likely noticed the increasing size and decreasing cost of hard drives and SSDs over the years. It's common to see photos posted of old adverts offering a comically low amount of storage by today's standard for an insanely high price. In this video, we're going to look at the first ever hard drive, its cost, storage, and who it was for. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. The world's first hard drive, known as the IBM 305 RAMAC, standing for Random Access Method of Accounting and Control, was introduced by IBM in 1956. It was a revolutionary development in data storage, marking a major shift from earlier forms of storage like punch cards and magnetic tape. The hard drive was massive by today's standards. It weighed about 2,000 pounds or 900 kilograms, and took up the space of a large room. The system consisted of 50 disc platters, each about 24 inches in diameter. The hard drive had a capacity of 5 megabytes, a significant amount at the time, but very small compared to modern hard drives. For perspective, 5 megabytes is roughly the equivalent to the size of one high resolution photo today. The hard drive had relatively slow read write speeds compared to modern systems. Its data transfer rate was around 8,800 characters per second, or about 8.8 .8 kilobytes per second. The system was extremely expensive for its time. In 1956, the cost of the entire system, including the hard drive and associated equipment, was approximately $50,000. Adjusted for inflation, this would be the equivalent of about $580,000 in today's money. The IBM 305 was primarily sold to large businesses and corporations that needed advanced data storage solutions. One of the first customers to purchase the system was General Motors, which used the 305 for accounting and record keeping purposes. IBM's marketing efforts were aimed at industries that could benefit from faster, more efficient data management, such as manufacturing, finance and insurance. The IBM 305 was phased out in the 1960s. Its successor, the IBM 1401, introduced in 1959, became more popular due to its smaller size, increased efficiency, and lower cost. It's incredible today to look back at how far storage solutions have come when you consider a 1TB microSD card can fit on the tip of your finger and can store 200,000 times more data than the first hard drive. What was the first storage device you bought and how much storage could it hold? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.